So we have talked about Kyle Larson a lot this season, and that's because he has had an amazing season up to this point. But today we're going to talk about two stories that are not Kyle Larson or NASCAR Cup related. Coming up next. So the first story I want to talk about is actually in the truck series and John Hunter Nemechek. Obviously John Hunter Nemechek last year ran in cup and he had a pretty decent cup season. He had three uh, top tens and I think he had eight top fifteens and that in, in pretty, you know, he wasn't in the best equipment. And so that was pretty good results for that. So it's kind of shocking when somebody who had really good results in lower level equipment actually moved down, but he moved down in tier but he moved up in equipment he is now running kbm equipment and in that equipment he has five wins in the truck series 11 top tens in 13 races oh and by the way he is three versus two when running against the boss kyle bush that'd be the same kyle bush who uh a few years ago berated some of his drivers including current xfinity guys so you would have to say his stock is rising if he can outrun the guy who just won the most recent cup race. Uh, so I would say even though a lot of people didn't understand this move down or disagreed with this move down, it's actually working out for John Hunter Nemechek because I think his stock is actually rising. And it's one of the really great stories to uh, sort of keep an eye on this season. Will John Hunter Nemechek with the way he's running right now, get another opportunity in Cup, and perhaps this time a really good opportunity in Cup. Okay, the other story has actually kind of gotten a lot of coverage because it is Junior's guy, but it is Josh Berry. Uh, the Josh Berry story, pretty well known. He won the late model championship last year, and uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I help a guy named Craig Moore in the Cars Tour series. We have run against Josh Berry, and he is really freaking good, and I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I am glad he is gone to Xfinity for multiple reasons, but the main reason being the guy's getting a shot, and he's got the talent level, and he's one of those these guys that have earned it. He's not, you know, fortunate to have a whole bunch of money and just pay his way into it, but he's also sort of unfortunate in that fact because he can't pay his way into it. But uh, I, would, I would be lying if I said I wasn't sad to see him go because he is really hard to beat. But that being said, Dale Jr. found him 13 races while Sam Mayer aged into the Xfinity Series. Sam Mayer is going to be really good too, uh, in my opinion, so I'd keep an eye on him. I think he's going to be a great racer. But anyway, in his 13 races, Josh Berry has got one win, four top fives, and eight top tens and he has also taken this opportunity and he's gotten rides with uh, Jordan Anderson has given him a ride in the 31 and he's gotten really good results for that equipment and he has gotten a ride with our uh, Rackley War Racing in the truck series and he has gotten excellent results in that truck. I think he's posted the best finishes in that truck of all the people that have driven it and some of the people that have driven it are really talented drivers like Timothy Peters. Timothy Peters is no joke that guy can get it done and Josh Berry has uh, and it's a, it's a very limited sample size but Josh Berry actually has the better finishes of those two guys that have driven this season. Okay, so this was just a little uh, tidbit. I wanted to throw in some stories that I haven't been covering because Kyle Larson has had such a great season. Let me know down, let me know down in the comments if you uh, want to see more of these. And if you don't mind, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And thanks for your time. Peace.